So today's topic is um, important because many people have actually DM me on Instagram asking me whether they would get an admin from automotive engineering or not. Uh, there are other YouTubers who have also posted videos re related to this topic, but this video would be somewhat different. It might uh, give you a different perspective or it might change your uh, thinking direction. So bear with me. Now to begin with, most of the students after completing their bachelor's in mechanical engineering, uh, decide to do masters and the course which mostly comes into their minds is automotive engineering. I don't know mo why most of the people are so obsessed with this course. Like uh, if you would uh, look at the videos which are made by other YouTubers, other people, uh, you would notice that that particular video which is related to this automotive thing with, would most likely have the highest views. I think that this obsession is built because uh, most of the students during, during their bachelor studies also participate in uh, various courses, various competitions like Baha and Supra. Uh, now don't get me wrong here, Baha and Supra are one of the most amazing student competitions and you get to learn a lot. But uh, in my opinion, I think that uh, it also confines the views of the students, uh, you know, related to uh, kind of selecting a course uh, for their master's degree. The second thing which comes to my mind is that uh, most of the people prefer automotive engineering for their master's degree is because they are passionate about cars. At least this is the reason which they give. And in my opinion, it, it is one of the most stupidest thing. Uh, being passionate about cars is one thing and uh, studying automotive engineering is an entirely different thing. Like if you would go to the website of different companies, uh, you would notice that most of the companies are now providing master thesis in the field of autonomous vehicles or maybe electric vehicles. And you might even find that not all subjects which are taught in automotive course uh, would be of any interest to you. Now just for an example, if you would consider automotive engineering at Erveteha, you would find quality management as one of the elective courses. Now I had quality management as a compulsory course and I know that uh, it's nowhere related to automotive. But if you get automotive, you might have to study that. Might because it's an elective course. The course or subject which you might find interesting is, uh, uh, let me check. Yeah, electric rise and storage systems. Now it's basically related to electric vehicles as its name suggests. But I know it because I had registered to this course. Uh, and yes, you can do that. Like if you follow this channel, you know that I'm studying production systems engineering, but still I was able to register to this course. I had just registered just to, you know, access the uh, lecture PDFs and other stuff. But if you want to uh, include this, uh, co this course into a transcript, then there are different formalities which you have to do. So in a nutshell, uh, even if you are studying a different course, you can still opt a few subjects from the automotive automotive course. But uh, I don't want to build uh, false hopes here because to be really honest, I was not able to attend this, the lectures of this uh, electric and storage system, even though they were online because uh, they were clashing with the lectures of my another course. So I decided to drop this one. Uh, so to sum up this video, I would say that the scope of mechanical engineering is very broad and you should definitely explore other fields as well, apart from automotive. Like uh, I'm not discouraging anyone from, you know, applying to automotive. You should definitely apply to it. And if you get it, you should go for it. It's a good course. But as you know that uh, getting an Arabian into an English taught automotive course is uh, very difficult as the competition is very high. So you should definitely keep other options open as well. Uh, now again, often people also DM me on Instagram. Like they tell me that they have around 8.2 CGPA and uh, these many years of work experience and they ask me whether they stand any chance to get an admit from automotive or not. The answer to this question I would say first is yes and then no. The reason is like above 8.0 CGPA is a good thing but yeah, there are also other variables which uh, universities consider while giving an admit. And speaking about Elvete Ha's automotive engineering course, uh, it's uh, given in there that the work experience is not mandatory. So it's most likely that they won't consider that. Like I have seen people like a guy who got, who had some 8.2 CGPA and 310 NGRE and with zero years of work experience getting into Elvete Ha's automotive. And on the other hand, a guy getting a rejection, even though he had like 9.6 CGPA and three or four years of work experience. And the reason of rejection was uh, there were a few subjects which were missing from his bachelor studies. My point is that it can also happen to you. So the only way to know whether you would get an admit or not is to apply to that course and uh, simply wait for the result. But my suggestion would be also apply to other courses, uh, especially the paid ones because th those are much easier to get in. And uh, it might happen that later on you would find those courses more interesting as compared to automotive. 
and like don't worry you can still work in an automotive company even though you did not study automotive engineering uh like i went through uh, one of the like i went through the course module of one of the universities which provide automotive engineering course jama dot one and i compared their subjects to mine and i figured out that uh, there were two or three subjects which were exactly matching like the gear and transmission technology and welding and joining technology so i think these two subjects are also present in one of the specializations of np i don't know i don't remember exactly but those are present so the point is you can still work in an automotive company even you did not study automotive engineering uh, i think i just took two or three more minutes extra just to sum up the video <laughs> anyways like if you found this video helpful uh, please give it a like and let me know in the comment section and it would also mean a lot to me if you would just uh, consider subscribing to this channel and also to follow me on instagram like it helps me to grow my channel see you in the next video bye